and then we will be good to go. What do you guys want to play? I would uh, share it, but I'm currently shadow banned. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that's right. I forgot both Post of you were banned. <laughs> yeah. Tell uh, D2.5 to share it real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell him to do it. Okay. Should we, uh, should we just load up some Supremacy? Might yeah, well. Or whatever. Hopefully we get droids. Hopefully. Okay, we'll see if this link worked. I'm checking your page now. That way, when I see a pop up, okay. uh, I'll check it, it out. So click the link, make sure it takes you to the to the stream. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it did. Yep. Beauty. It's gamer time. What is up, fellow gamers? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Should we back out until we get droids? <laughs> I think Maybe we should. Can. I mean, it wouldn't yeah, seem right. Yeah, let's back out. Let's back out. Because uh, <laughs> last time we, we we stuck it out with the clones, and then we ended up being clones for like 45 minutes. You're right. <laughs> yeah, that match did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even think Supremacy, like, after one game, like, it doesn't even automatically send you to, like, the other faction, does it? I don't know. I, I haven't played enough. I feel like it's a nice roll, honestly. Sometimes yeah. after one match, I'm like done just because of how long it can be. All right, I'm back at the menu. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Yep. Same. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. Rolling for droids. Rolling for droids. <laughs> Big whammy. Uh, what's up, Five Will First in the chat? What's up, Nick? Welcome to the stream. Honestly, that that's the biggest thing I want from Battlefront 3, if they make it. Just let me choose the side when I jump in. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, that would be great. I really don't get why you can't do that. I would also kind of love if they, between each era, like, they had a weapon set for, like, you know, clones use a certain weapon or a certain set of weapons, and then mm. droids get a certain set of weapons. True. Yeah, that would be cool, a little more variety and... The eras, yeah, because I, I, so I love Battlefield, and the amount of guns in that game is just insane, and yeah, so it's fun yeah. playing with different weapons from different like factions, stuff like that. I canceled that search. It canceled it for you guys oh. too, right? No, you're in, no, you're, no. Yeah, you're joining the game. Okay, I'm joining. I'm just gonna join you guys. Right. <laughs> just hope, hope we're on the other we'll, side. We'll see. Back yeah. on Camino. Watch. It probably just put us back in the same game as clones. That'd be real shifty. I mean, I don't mind clones, but when I'm when I'm with the the clanker bros, it's got to be droids. <laughs> the clanker cores, yeah. Clanker like cores. <laughs> I love it. That is That's what we should rename our chat. Son of a bitch. And there's like there ten. You go. That's, that's we're the only people on this. Here. Look how many people they need on this separatist. Like, I feel like our chances. Well, I'm only Three v four right now, but people are backing out. Yeah, let's let's back out again. We're just like totally emptying out our side. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> hey, Jordan one was making some pig noises at the cops driving by. Just <laughs> <laughs> wow, Damn. just shrieking. That wasn't even a pig noise. That was like, holy cow. Honestly, I thought it was dying. <laughs> Yeah, I got him with the steel. <laughs> so, so they know okay. you're a real Illinois if we, boy. If we get Camino, <laughs> we're backing out. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'll hit cancel if I see Camino. I just imagine he's just on the roof and his boxer's just shrieking. 
<laughs> just ripping off the shingles. Everybody around's probably like, what the hell's going on? Oh, we're on Naboo this time. <laughs> okay, They're okay. I got a good feeling here. Oh, what the fuck? I got a good feeling about this. What the... Hey. Okay, weird. I somehow didn't join, so I'm just trying to join again through the menu. You guys just That's just weird. go in. You just go in. I'll I'll hop in as soon as it lets me. Right. Yeah, let me know weird. if you get droids. Yeah, they're they're right around the corner. Dude, those cops are gonna come into your house and shoot you all up. <laughs> like they're still like. We are droids. Yeah, we keep hacking them on. All right, we're the droids. <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm, I'm gonna wait in the mini. That's fine. There we go. I'm joining. <laughs> I'm joining. I'm joining. Yeah, we got like <laughs> 20 seconds. Dude, those cops are gonna kick in your door and scream. <laughs> Stop resisting! <laughs> bam, bam, bam! Put down the controller. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a gun. It's in the TV. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, I missed that. Damn. Trying to unlock another starboard. Right on. We officially have uh, oh, hey, the we'll Enforcer we'll... class higher than our uh, Heavy class, which is like the first oh, time dude, since I got the game. <laughs> We've just gotten insane with the droidicas. Right on. Yeah, I've, I've been playing Super Battle Droid, like, a lot. Nice. And it's, yeah, I used it's, to, uh, I used to make them for a while, but then, uh, I have to, I have to main droid because I can't not main yeah. droid because while I'm on this page. Well, that's the thing, <laughs> I, I used to play droid because like crazy, and then I started this page, and I'm like, I have an obligation now. Yeah, exactly, like, right? Yeah. You feel a calling. <laughs> it's, it's out of my now hands. I changed my PS4 name to dual droid controller. <laughs> Man, when you told me that and we were gaming, I had just the right amount of buzz to be like, Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> but, but, uh, maybe one day. I've been rocking this gamer tag since the PS4 came out, so I'm kind of attached to it. Yeah, I, I had been meaning to change my name for a while, and I wasn't really sure what to do. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it exclusively for the page. Yeah. So everybody we kill, they know who killed them. <laughs> uh, if only I could do that with Vulture Droid, but it's hard to do that as a main. Yeah, you kind of got screwed. Yeah. I guess for Galactic Conquest, you could, right? Yeah, you can, but I mean, there's certain phases that don't even have, like, aerial stuff, so... Yeah. They weren't very supportive of the Vulture Gang. Already got the droidica. Atta boy. It's okay, I'm going for B. What's up, bots? <laughs> yo, yo, we're all bots, my dude. <laughs> true. <laughs> true life. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, uh, Wookie! Shit! What the hell am I being shot? Oh, somebody's sniping me. Damn. Yo, is it a low battle point event? Damn! We're gonna be droids all night. There's well, only shit. there's only 150 for a super battle droid. Oh, is it? I didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess it is. Heroes, unfortunately, are still 4,000, but that's okay. Damn, Wookie got me. All right. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 line up. Line up for the slaughterhouse. Oh, shit, you setting up the PA speaker? Yes. Droidica 1's about to blast fuck the police out the window. Atta boy. Oh, my God. Are you actually? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, my... we set up one of our PA speakers. Yikes, dude. Oh, that's okay, you guys are white. It'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, is that too edgy for YouTube? I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll reel it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say maybe maybe for uh for the sponsors. <laughs> you think I'm getting sponsors? <laughs> Dude, Star Wars like 
as soon as I'm done streaming, I get a notification saying that your your stream has been copyrighted. And then it's just <laughs> like it's just all like the John Williams music in the loading screens. It's just like son yeah, of a bitch. Right. Oof. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Like, come on. I've just accepted that this channel will never be. Uh, it's just for fun, <laughs> not for money. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, that's a hero. <sighs> you know, unless you want to join my uh, Patreon, but you know, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Right, I'll turn the mic off for a second. It's gonna get loud. Yikes. Well, should have left, left that mic on. That's some good shit. Yeah, we're taking this point. You ever seen a Super Battle Joy tea bag? Now you have. <laughs> there, there we go. This Obi Wan is about to get lit up. You're trash. Get out of here, no skin. Oh shit! Damn, I got a really got killed by a meat bag. I got all these points. Man. <laughs> oh, hi, Yoda. I don't know how Yoda didn't kill me. He just literally ran right oh, by me. Oh, shit! Too. Yoda's gonna kill me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Maul just tossed him. Way. I gotta get out of here. Fuck. Ah. Oh. oh, hello. The reload is so long. Oh. Obi-Wan gets clapped. Caught in 4K. That's Again. awesome. Ow. I get comment. Yeah, are you guys getting uh, arrested yet or what? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I could see you actually like I don't know what could they do. I don't think they could. Uh, noise ordinance probably. That's yeah. Not they, they, they're they, a little they... occupied at the moment. They'll ding you for something. Oh yeah, they'll just because they're bored and they'd rather deal with that than like a riot. <laughs> just like they well, did with my inspection because he was so bored that he had to pull me over. <laughs> Yikes. You're right. The meat bags at. <laughs> Hear Darth Maul screaming somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Just follow where he's screaming, you'll find him. Down these rocket troopers. No, don't die yet. Oh, I just hope somebody's killed. Whoops. I hope you like that sometimes. That happens. There goes the roly boy. I see you. Oh no, he's getting swarmed. He's getting overrun. Oh shit, oh shit dude. Oh, okay, I didn't think I was gonna get that. Huh. 
It's okay, I've oh, defeated, the, defeated oh, the chosen one before. Oh my god, he got me. Oh, that was so close. I'm so used to, like, call my Call of Duty setup, so, like, if I press the thumbstick, I, um, I go down, like, I kneel or whatever. Uh. And it's for that circle for me. Melee. Yeah, I play tactical all the time. I love it so much. I try playing it on here, but it just feels weird. I don't know. It... Yeah? Huh. Oh my goodness, get decimated. I feel like in order to play Super Battle Droid, you really just have to, like, embrace his tankiness. You kind of have to play it like that. Like, you can't be, like, jumping around corners and stuff. You just got to kind of put your health boost on and your rapid fire and just, just strut. Yeah. But sometimes, like, I'm walking around with rapid fire on, and someone starts shooting at me, and it's like, I can't even leave it. I can't leave the mode to put my health boost on. We are melting Obi Wan right now. Where the hell did he go? He just got heated somewhere. Oh, I just stole your kill. Whoops. The ball just saved my ass though. Uh, Obi Wan was coming for me, and then the ball just jumped in. Holy shit! There are like hundreds of people right outside our window right now. What's I going on up there? Hundreds. The whole protest is right in front of our apartment. What the hell? We just finished blasting. Fuck the police. <laughs> Did you get any uh, good reactions or what? Yeah, I mean oh everyone. Oh my gosh! Heard it. I hear Everybody them chanting. Heard That's all I came. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is for sure the weirdest stream I've ever had. What's up, Shane? What's up, MOC? Oh, I just killed Anakin. Hell yeah! There's a literal protest going on outside your room right now, and I can hear it. This is the weirdest <laughs> thing. Why don't you open your open your window and, and stick your head out and say, Shut the hell up. The droids are rolling. The droids are rolling. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just whether you move them around or not, that way you don't get kicked for inactivity. It's so short in this game. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little distracted now. Now you're good. I just keep bit. it in your hand, move it, it can stick around, you'll be fine. Yeah, dude, like, if I'm playing this game and I need to go to the washroom, I take the controller with me and just keep a thumb on my toggle stick. You have to. It's just so low in this game that you'll get oh. kicked for like two seconds of inactivity. Yeah, I wonder why. It's like... It's the loading oh into games is so long. It's so it's just so I think punishing. Of how taxing this game probably is. Hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff going on. That... Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, there's probably it a lot going on. It loads up really on. decent on my Series X. It loads up pretty quick, and the graphics actually look a little bit better too. Oh, you got a Series it's X? Like... Yeah. Well, my brother does, but he, I mean, he floats around between his Switch, his laptop, and then. Series X, so he hasn't played it for a while, so I ended up taking it from him for a little bit so I can play some mm. other stuff. So I didn't, like, you know, go to waste. I was trying uh, Black Friday to secure two of them, and I literally had a second one in my cart, and it pulled it out of my cart when it's, like, when I pressed order. It said it wasn't available, even though it was in my cart, so I don't know how that there happened. There was a, a purchase limit, I guess? I don't know if it was, like, it would have said, oh, there's a purchase limit. Like, I did, so the first transaction, I got the one that's sitting in front of me. And then I found another one maybe, like, an hour or two later. And it was in my cart, and I literally was getting ready to press order. And I pressed it, and it was like, oh, this item's no longer available. But I oh, figure that's if super it's weird. in your cart, like, you secured it then, right? Like, that's yeah, a good thing. For sure. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I, yeah, I, I mean, I guess not. I mean, you, you think of putting something in your cart in, like, a store. I guess you'd think yeah. that the rules apply in real life. boy, We slapped them. We slapped them. I'm melting people with my sentry real quick. 
Oh, hi, Anakin. <laughs> you just came out of nowhere. Who's shooting at me? Bop. Get popped. I just realized you're not in the squad with us. I'm not? Oh, I've just, yeah. I guess I just like run into you guys over points and I just didn't notice. Probably because yeah. I joined, joined late. You can, well, it's, yeah, I get, like it shows you're still like green on our screen. Like you're yeah, me too. You're in a party, but just the way the squads work in this game is weird. Ooh, they try we do to that combat rule. As possible, basically. So instead of like linking and staying with your group, it'll put you in a squad away from everybody if need be. Right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. didn't see that coming. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I was I was borderline spawn killing these people. They all thought we were at the ship. Just brutal. Look at Uwu, uh, gunship coming in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> Based Uwu. <laughs> He's here in spirit. I know. He'll be with us soon. Well, not today, but maybe in upcoming streams you all, or whenever. We'll, you know, we'll all get together and play. I was excited to hear that he actually got the game so he could play with us. Yeah. Does he have it for console? Yeah, he's got it for PlayStation. Oh, right on. I'm pretty sure I have him added as a friend, too, but he just didn't have the game. He never really played. Apologies for the noise. Um. <laughs> All good. We're back. Yeah, uh, unique circumstances. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's Hello, great everyone. to see a big crowd out. Big crowd That's out during a your, pandemic. Uh... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Fucking, um... The, uh, the perks of living near the mayor's lobby. house. Whew, stealthy. Playing exactly like I said I shouldn't. <laughs> it's a Wookiee! Commando droid up top. Alright. Yo, that commando droid just yeeted me. Unbelievably rude. Right in front of Dual <laughs> Oh, Yoda just came in and slayed me. Oh, he got away from that? <laughs> I'm crouched in rapid fire. This is sick. I'm almost as tall as you. Rolled up. <laughs> hey, we got it. Oh, Yoda's coming. I see you, Commando Droid. Yeah, gonna be a lot of Commando Droids with this low point event. Oh yeah, definitely. I see Anakin. I am going the other direction. <laughs> Anakin's right around the corner from us. Uh, oh no! Oh, you just got slaughtered! I'm taking him head on. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, he flanked around. Actually, wait, hold up. I got the new gun. Why am I using the, still the base weapon for this? Oh, never mind. I am using the upgrade one. Never mind. Yeah, that got wild for a minute. Oh, wait. You're available. Go back. Give me Maul. <laughs> heading for the back. I'm heading Get for the back. Get fucked, Anakin. Spawn on me if you can. <laughs> uh, I, well, I spawned in as Maul. One of the few times I get to play as a saber hero. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, fair enough. I actually like the blast blaster heroes better, to be honest. Just because they're a lot easier to use, and saber heroes don't... They don't aggro on them immediately. Yeah, I hear ya. Alright. I'm shooting that same one with you here. Hell yeah. We got it. Oh, baby. Oh, we're going to do this first. first wow. Yeah, this, this this, was, that's uh, game, isn't it? Fast. Damn, wow. yeah, that's game, that's dude. That's game. 
Oh, we slapped them! Damn, Micro that was gang. an incredibly fast ship battle. <laughs> Micro gang and clutch. Clanker cores. Well old today. You would think these clones would have oh, that one was totally rendered a starship. <laughs> Hey, didn't didn't the Super Battle Droid have like a really high pitched voice in the first couple movies, and then a low pitched voice in the third one? I honestly can't remember. I have I didn't know trying to do a full well, watch not, through. Super and Battle Droids are in the first remember. episode. They're only in two and three. Okay, so I, I have a feeling they were like high pitched, like the uh, the B ones, and then in the third one, George Lucas was like, yeah. hmm. I'd have to I'd have to go back. It's been a, a long time since I've seen episode two. It's a great movie. Zach, I saw you took a a liking to that. What was that? A uh, super battle like hunter droid or whatever from the crossover of Halo. I don't even know what that thing is from. It's from Halo. It's the hunters. I don't know if you've ever played Halo, but they're no. like the tanks of the game or enemy tanks, basically. Yeah. They're so hard to kill unless it's Halo One. So okay. I'm going to back up. I'm a huge Halo nerd. I love Halo. And there's actually a thing in Halo 1 with the Magnum. If you jump around them and shoot them in the back once, you can actually one-shot them from full health. That's really. awesome. Yeah, it was one of the... I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it happened. It was actually kind of cool. That's funny. Yeah, I only, I only really got it. Like, I played some of Halo 2, but Halo 3 was the one that I played a lot. Ah, uh, Barrage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Halo, um, that was like one of my first shooter games that I was allowed to have for whatever reason. So I really took a liking to it. Yeah, I uh, I never had an Xbox growing up, but uh, it wouldn't have mattered because my parents did not want me to play Halo, so <laughs> it was not... I had, uh, I had both, uh, the original Xbox, and then I actually started with the PS2. That's where my love for Star Wars came from between after watching the first, you know, 4, 5, and 6... Uh, my mom got me Battlefront 2, and that game was so much fun. I have so many hours in that game. Yeah, I had that one for PSP. <laughs> oh, nice. A lot of late nights yeah, in bed. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten it for oh, man. Uh, PSP, because I had one of those as well. My grandma got me one. Yeah, my PSP, you're bringing me back now. <laughs> I regret selling that thing. I wish I kept it just because it's like, would have... I love that value. thing because it was also my MP3 player. Like I didn't need to buy an MP3 player, yeah. and I could watch I some videos on there. I'd, I'd put like small episodes like Beavis and Butthead on there, shit like that that would fit. <laughs> yeah, um, I would have kept playing mine for even longer than I did, but so I had the original PSP, not the updated one, and the original didn't support yeah. internet. Like it was like WPA2 key. So I couldn't update, and I couldn't update it, so I couldn't connect to the internet, and because of that, it lo basically locked my P PSP from being able to be used. What? Damn. I don't know why. I think it was because of updates, and it was so, and just because I couldn't connect, it wouldn't let me do it. It was really weird, but I still have it somewhere. I just have to find another map for it. I'm sorry, I put a shield right in front of your heavy gun. I did the one thing I hate when officers do. Yo, I'm playing assault right now. Oh, this is awful. Spawned on you. I'm going in. Going in. Godspeed. Uh, what's up, Patrick? Switch to heavy, cause heavy Ooh, is the only okay. good thing. I took this a couple game. out. All right. C might be a lost cause. Always go C. <laughs> You're right. Like, strategically, it is a smarter move, but I just, Wait. I can never he, help but go for C. He's the one that I like to go to. Because the Droidicus can roll over there, and, like, no one sees you coming. Oh, yeah. Sees you maybe a few bots, if anything, if they're not being, like, real on it. Oh, shit. i to hide real quick. I got 2 HP. Yike. Okay. I'm hiding at the back of B. Oh, Someone hello. needs to spawn on me. The uh, ATRT just snuck up on me. Come back here. Is that? Oh, I'm like, I'm shooting at this this tank. You scared? What's up? What's up, dude? Come on. Yeah, we got C, boys. Got him. We'll capture him, B. We can we can turn the tides here. I'm with you. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. They're going for C though, so uh, <laughs> let's go run to C. 
Oh shit, now E's falling? Always push C. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the village. Yeah, C's falling, E, we got back. I'm gonna go for A. I don't know if I'll be able to capture it. I might have to run away, but I'll at the very least distract them. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some. It's an honest points. approach. The Droidicas are great for that because you can just roll around and people will chase you. I literally see you up there, you idiot. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Contested. Oh. I just wiped out like five bots at A. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. I'm halfway. Yeah! Oh, you're not taking this pose today. Hell Get out yeah. of here, you weak ass plastic heads. Fucking trash. Oh, that one just lost you. It was worth it. Oh, <laughs> this thing, thing is just shooting. Could I take damage from it? They were on like one of those mini ATSTs and it blew up but it was still shooting. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I saw that on your screen. That was weird. <laughs> oh my god, I just made a tank like spin in like two circles to try and like shoot me <laughs> and I just rolled off. <laughs> that, that commando dro or commando trooper just flopped. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, that, I saw that. I've defeated the chosen one before. By the way, that in my uh, wrist rocket gang video, when I say chosen one defeated, yeah, that is my head cannon. Every time I see Anakin, I'm like, all right, it's round two, bitch. <laughs> nice. Ba 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 ba. Oh, 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 you like oh, that? Oh, you like that? Anakin just stopped me from stopping them at E. Grievous is going in. Push. Wow, they just turned the tides real bad. <laughs> oh, you mind tricked me. I don't even have a mind. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, don't we uh, lack like a free will chip or something? We're literally just free programming kill. <laughs> a free will chip. They never gave us the free will chip. Yeah, I was hoping, they, uh, honestly, when I made that post, chip. when I made that post, I was hoping somebody would get my reference. It was from uh, Futurama. I, that was a reference. Uh, no oh, I, I, I would have definitely loved that if I saw that post. I want feature ammo. Rest in peace. Oh, did you not see it? I don't think so. I don't think I saw it either. Yeah, the, uh, Facebook's algorithm sucks. Yeah, no kidding. Especially like, I feel like lately it's been real bunk. The uh, that battle droid, like hunter droid or whatever that I shared, got like. 20 likes by certain posts, only get like 5 or whatever. Like, I don't know. The algorithm's weird. Yeah. Oh, you got nothing, boy. Maybe it's a uh, dwarf spider just stealing all of our. Uh, it 100% is. Likes. <laughs> yeah, he's been popping off lately. I'm, you know, I'm happy for him. Facebook is like. Enough of that. Too many droids in the algorithm. Yeah, right. He's got a Nerf yeah. Does. Dwarf Spider's got a good. Uh, he's got a good formula down, hey. Yeah, he does. I Which, actually, yeah. I, don't, I don't really like it. Yeah, they're good. I gotta go guys. back and forth. Yeah, uh, I mean, like I just do everything under the sun, kind of. We play a lot of Civ Six with uh, Dwarf Spider. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is it uh? Is it cross platform? Do you know? Uh, you know, I don't know actually. I say is I do own Civ Six. Because, like, uh, we, we can play with, like, PC and Mac players, but, um, but, yeah, I don't know if it, like, cross-plays with the Switch, and I think it's on PS4, too, right? It's on Xbox, that's what I, that's what I owned it on, okay. is Xbox. Yeah, so I don't know if those can play with, uh, Ooh. PC and Mac players. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, Gunship is also uh, in that group with us. Yeah, because I wanna, I wanna, I also wanna talk uh, some music with Dwarf Spider because I know he's got some. Uh, he's wearing a couple of uh, music groups together. Oh so yeah. I'm curious what yeah. he listens to. Yeah, they they're in a lot. Of, uh, yeah, I see them sharing a lot of <laughs> fucking hilarious music related yeah. memes. The uh, the one day I saw him and uh, Gent shit posting on Facebook, and I was like, oh. 
Oh shit. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello, Obi Wan. Yeah, he uh, just fucked me up at B. Yeah, that's where I spawned in at, and he just melted me. I'm going to A. What's up, Obi? I'm gonna distract him at B. He's coming to kill me, I'm just running in circles. <laughs> I see that. Dude, this this is one of my favorite things to do with Sidretica, is just make the heroes run in a circle. Oh, alright, sweet. I just spawned in on you. Yeah, it's a good yeah, Droidica strat. Up, yeah, people don't realize how much you can, like, take advantage of certain situations with the Droidica. Oh. <laughs> that, uh, bot oh, damn just island. jumps right into my grenade. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hello, ATRP. Yeah, There's no thanks. Fucking chicken walkers, man. Chicken walkers. That's good. <laughs> Did got he get him. out of that thing? There's no way he got out of that. Oh no, he's right here. He just shot me to oh, death. Okay. <laughs> I thought he got out to come kill us. <laughs> yeah, I got that one guy. So I was like, was that him? Oh, uh, nope, I'm dead. Oh, hello. Hello there. Melee. Oh my god. Melee screwed me up again. What was that vulture? I think was that you that did that that meme about? Uh, it was like something. Someone. It was like that side post about someone saying thank you so much. You saved my life you or something. My and life. Yeah. You changed my life. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the post of the. Holy uh, the cow! Well, that was a that was a while ago, wasn't it? All right. Well, now I got Anakin running. Uh, this one. I would say like maybe a month, a month and a half ago. Yeah, I, I did see that one. Remember. Yeah, that that was. Probably my favorite one that you posted. I think that was a uh, that post actually, for whatever reason, did really well. I don't know why. <laughs> Damn, there. I think it's just me. the ridiculous ridiculousness of the situation. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next, like post wise. I'm thinking about doing a Halo crossover. Uh, have you guys ever seen Red vs. Blue? Uh, I know of it, but I never watched it. Okay, so the opening line in the first, like, first ever episode was, uh, you ever wonder why we're here? And it's on Blood Gulch, which is one of the maps in in the first Halo, and I wanted to do something like two different kinds of vulture droids, or, like, what I have saved on my phone anyway, and literally do asking that question on Blood Gulch. Just to, <laughs> just for, for Got fun. It. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny. This commando clone in this fucking house, get out of here. It's full of clones. This house is full of clones. I'm pissed. Sounds like a bunch of meatbags to me. It's a fucking frat party going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, we're getting fucked up right now. We are. Yeah. Oh, look, 69%. Nice. Yeah, what fuels the droids? I don't even know. Ah, well, I got two kills out of that. Enough for a joy to cut. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go where you're going, Rolly boy. You going to C? I'm about to distract him to C, but I'm really rolling to B. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the fucking house. Get out of there. Yeah, hold up. Dude, is this that barrage, same guy? I barrage that Yo. house. <laughs> ah, it's Obi-Wan! Wow. He's in the house! Yo, he ran out of the house. I'm going back in. <laughs> Holding the house down. I'm going to sit in this house. Fuck these guys. Yeah, you thought. You thought, cloner. Obi-Wan is in the fucking building. Please go. Please go. Oh, I got to get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, hello, Obi-Wan. Yeah, this Obi-Wan's kind of slapping right now. That's so funny. The same guy has been guarding only B. I just killed him like three times in a row to capture it. On... <laughs> oh, I, just, I don't see no man. I'm going to go to E. C is too hard. Ah, yeah, I literally just a. cleared it and then an ATR so he just came and blew me up. Just keep going for the endpoints. All we need is majority, right? Yeah. 
So, Fuck oh, C. Man, we just got B there we go. Oh, we just lost B. I was trying to get A. Shit. Is it even worth, like, holding a point down? I don't know. Part of the problem with, I've noticed in this game, is that we'll cap an objective and then everybody just runs away, leaving it wide open for somebody else to grab. True. I'll hang up by E for a bit. I just keep getting killed uh, by the heroes, I swear. Yeah, me too. Because we'll we're surviving long hard. enough to meet the, the heroes. heroes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Where the hell did AT or ATAT come from? What the fuck? I, didn't even I know see him. I see him. I see him. I got him. It's Obi Wan. Obi Wan has killed me like four times in a row. You and I both. Yeah, that Obi Wan's a fucker. Ah. Uh, you and I both. Huh? Because his name's Ewan. <laughs> that wasn't intended, but that's good. Yeah, let me just uh, quickly post that on my... Can I tell you how uh, excited I am for the uh, Kenobi miniseries that's coming out? Aren't we all? You and me both, Dude, brother. that's going to be so good. If they do it at yeah. one of the standard they did for Mandalorian, it's going to be really good. It's gonna blow Mandalorian out of the water. Back the old cast. It's honestly, well, like, it, yeah, it's gonna been, put I've that Mandalorian to shame. Like, Ian McGregor's Obi Wan is one of the best things about the prequels. Like, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll watch it just to watch him be Obi Wan again. Like, I don't care if the writing's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not even that no, bad. Like, like, I don't even know why people don't like it. The uh, Clone Wars show looked like him a little bit too. I know he he didn't voice the Clone Wars actor or um, character, but it, it still felt like him in a way. Chosen yeah, one defeated. Yeah, the voice actor for him is pretty great. He's pretty. Uh, he's so good. Pretty spot on. And, and he he's the same guy in the Clone Wars cartoon as well. How is it? Yeah, that's probably where he got his start. That's possible. It's it's a different uh, Anakin, but. Did a great job for um, Maul as well. In the animated. Yeah, yeah Maul's voice actor is pretty great because if you're gonna bring him back, it's like, well, he spoke what like words in the Phantom Menace, so like you yeah. have to pick someone who can bring like the personality alive because we up till then hadn't really seen much personality from him other than him yeah. just looking badass. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you guys, you guys have seen that that clip of the behind the scenes of him yelling at Kenobi. No, I actually no, haven't. I I've rewatched that probably twenty times. They film him doing that like the whole desert scene where he's like kind of going crazy, like looking for Obi Wan yeah, right. and Rebels. It's just uh, just incredible. <laughs> uh, I'll drop yeah, it in our chat. Is, that that yeah, I've only got like bad. a season into Rebels. And I just never got back to it. I think I started watching it when I actually I had COVID last year, about a, literally a year ago today, actually. Um, I started watching it after I watched a couple of other Star Wars, or I finished Clone Wars, like catching up on that. And I just never got back to it. Yeah, I mean, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Rebels. Um, it's, I feel like it's real hit or miss. Some of the episodes. I just feel like that one was more directed towards children, not but... that, like it's bad. Like Clone Wars was the same way in the beginning. And right, they exactly. Like a huge yeah. following it had, and it switched it up a little bit. And like, the third and fourth seasons of Rebels are definitely way better than the first and second. So, yeah, it definitely had like a similar, way. Or similar growing pains. But uh, yeah, I mean, there all the all like the stuff with Maul and Ahsoka. I really loved all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was. But, I'm, but thank, I'm glad was, they did more Clone Wars with Maul. The thing is, like, Ezra is, like, like nobody liked Ahsoka when she, at first when she was young. And, yeah, right. and, and Ezra is the exact same way, except he's the main character. So it, it's, yeah. a huge, it's a huge turn off right. for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Cause, I like, wonder if Ezra is going to come into live action when they do the Ahsoka show. 100%. 100%. I mean, it's already it's plain that they're doing the show, but... Thrawn and Ezra, I definitely see them making an appearance, because that's what they talk about in the Mandalorian. Yeah, well, there's. I don't know if those are rumors or not about. Uh, who was it? Was it Ahsoka looking for Ezra and Thrawn? 
Uh, well, she was looking for a Grand Admiral Thrawn. She didn't mention Ezra, I don't believe. But, but yeah, it's a package deal, yeah. we can assume. From what I know of right. Rebels, I mean, I haven't seen it, but I heard that, I guess they both disappear towards the end or something like that, and... Yeah. They Bro, you gotta watch Rebels, man. And it's not dead. It's so... You gotta watch Rebels, man. It's a rough start, but it's worth committing to. It's not even that long. How many seasons is it? It's four seasons. And, like... Okay, that's not bad. You can... Like, I, I skipped a lot of the fillers. Like, I love... Yeah, I kind of did, too. Like... Like, if, if I read the description, it's like, hmm, today we will look for a fruit in the supermarket. It's like, alright, I'm gonna skip this one. Yeah, right. Uh, I follow this episode guide. Um, which one? The, uh, the next Star Wars show, I guess it's called Resistance, I think, which is set in, like, when the First Order is around. Oh, that I haven't seen. Yeah, I just, I, I have no interest. Um, Droidica 1 watched some of it, I don't know if they watched all of it. Um, I personally am not a fan of that animation style. Um, yeah, it's what, I, I, I really saw don't a know anything I was like, story, yeah. really. Man, it's 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 just the storyline. It's just the fact that it's like just sequels era. Like, I'm sorry, I'm being cliche, but I just uh, it's just like the biggest Ooh. thing that would excite me is like maybe Kylo and and Captain Phasma crossovers, you know, or like when they make an appearance. Like that shit would fire me up, but right. that's that's I'm not enough yeah, to you, commit yeah, my life to. <laughs> there's uh, there's other stuff that they could uh, focus on. I feel you. It's not Disney strong I mean, like, suit I, right now. And also like, yeah, like I like some of the sequel stuff, but I also am not like blind to absolutely a lot of, a lot of the flaws. Well, as that's all Star Wars is, but like, yeah, it. And also, everyone's gonna have their like favorite heroes. Yeah. If you're like not about the sequels, like that's like totally fine. As long as you're not like one of those dickheads that just like tries uh, yeah, to ruin the video or whatever. It's like that's the thing. Uh, like with I, my... I literally just bought a uh, the directed by Ryan Johnson shirt. Wow. So oh yeah, like, I I'm actually a big Ryan Johnson fan, but also I just can't wait to like wear this around and troll people. That's a great ironic them. shirt. <laughs> wear it to Galaxy's Edge or something. <laughs> Yeah, like with my with my YouTube channel, like I, I do like lots of rant videos and stuff, and like I've had a ton of opportunities to shit on the sequels, but it's just like it's just kind of been, it's just been beaten to death. So yeah, I would I would agree. Like yeah. everybody's you know, shit on it. In, instead, point. I've 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 challenged myself to make a few videos of like things that I liked, aspects that I enjoyed, characters that were done well, you know, just because sure tired of shitting part. on it. But they had some really good, like, things. And I yeah, love yeah, some the, uh, things were good. Like, uh, so everybody talked smack on J.J. Abrams for the fact that he directed uh, the 7th and 9th. But I thought, like, visually, though, they were some, like, the sequels were literally the best in visuals. Sure. Yeah, J.J. Abrams so. is, uh, is great, like, as a visual director. He's just not a very good storyteller, I've realized. Yeah, I would agree yeah, with that. Yeah, like, screenwriting is, like... Though. Uh, yeah, he wrote 7 and 9, and he, like, well, I think he, like, co-wrote them with, like, one other writer, maybe two. Kathleen Kennedy. Um, <laughs> Please. No, Kathleen Kennedy was not <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy is my trigger. I would prefer you not say her name. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, if, uh, so Filoni and, was it Favreau, wrote Clone Wars Animated, and that was some of the best writing, and I wish... I can't wait for that to write something else Star Wars related because obviously they know what they're doing. Well, I know I think Filoni's supposed to be in charge of the Ahsoka show. I yes. Drew is involved in that. I think he also they both did uh, Mandalorian. I want to say. Yeah, they both did Mando, and then Filoni was kind of like the head guy on Rebels and Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah, they do some really good work with all uh, party. Oh, I just took out Obi Wan by myself. <laughs> oh, nice! That was that was great. I'm being a piece of shit right now. I'm just hanging out way far from the objective, trying to kill people before they get in these hallways. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Whatever works. Oh man. Oh my God! There's like He's... 12 people right there. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Oh, Commando came from the side and flanked us. Oh, did I just get sniped? Oh. 
Guinness. Great. Oh, I don't want to do that. Nope. We're not playing this. An assault. Where the hell are they? So, Zach, Maybe... I got a question to ask you. Yeah. What What made you want to do uh, like Star Wars, you know, real talk, or like uh, just a Star Wars YouTube page? Yeah, that's. I think. Um, I moved to a, a pretty isolated town a couple years ago. It's okay. it's kind of like a, a it's a temporary thing. It was for like work experience, but uh. Oh, you bitch. But uh, anyways, episode nine came out. I flew into the city to see it, and then I came back out here. And then like the whole Star Wars community was just bumping, and like all my Star Wars friends were in my hometown, and I had like no one to talk to, and I had like a ton of opinions. I just wanted to talk about Star Wars with somebody, you know. Okay. And then I, I made the channel just just to talk, just to talk about Star Wars, and I'm like, I don't even care if anyone watches it. I just need an outlet. <laughs> okay, I mean that's not bad. That's kind of my, like, oh, I haven't done it yet with uh, Star Wars on my meme page, but I see um, Mix Mayfield Core do it a lot, as well as Ice Cream Core. I, what I do they do? Uh, just talk about Star Wars and, like, stuff coming out or whatever Star Wars related, like, their opinions on things. Watch Yoda. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, at least lately, Ice Cream Maker Core has been, like, one of my favorites, so watch just because of some of the stuff they post. Yeah, they're, they're great. They, um,. Like, when we kind of got back into it, like, late 2020, um, they, uh, well, I think Mr. Bones invited us to the core chat that, like, they kind of, I think they started it. I think Ice Cream Maker started that one. The mini core um, chat? But, like, yeah, I don't know if it's the same one that some of you guys are in. I know there's, like, no, a lot of people that we've made a few aside from the one we're in. Okay, yeah, because I know there's, like, a few different ones, but, um, well, like, yeah, we started kind of just getting tight with them and some of the people in that chat. And yeah, Ice Cream Maker is one of our favorite pages. I love them. I also just love poking fun at a uh, Boss Court. Oh yeah, <laughs> we we have a great like love hate relationship with Boss Court. Yeah, hey. they seem like a or he seems like a cool guy or he Because like at first, guy. when they made the page, they uh, I don't know if they were fans of our page before or not, but they. Uh, we're just like talking shit in the comments, and at first I was like, "Oh man, am I gonna have to like talk shit on these guys?" Um, which we do, but like it's it's become like a like fun back and forth with them. Yeah, I noticed it's definitely uh, not like mean spirited. I posted something directly at Boss Core, and then uh, they posted something else, and then Roger Core ended up posting something. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Man, we are doing great on the ship defense. Yeah. Hey, what do you guys think about uh, Daisy Ridley picking her nose core? <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, it's it's what? always being recommended to me, but I don't have the courage to lo to look at it. <coughs> oh, that's, the, the, the that's kind of great. I got to look that up now. <laughs> the picture is 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 a picture of Daisy Ridley picking her nose, and I, someone made a core page about it. <laughs> that's hilarious. that's hilarious. Some of the uh, core pages are very obscure but hilarious. Those are kind of some of our favorites. Like that's why we ended up like when we made the page, we didn't want to do Droidica core. We were like, no, those two specific Droidicas in the first scene of Phantom Menace. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're doing well on the leaderboard, hey? Yeah, yeah no kidding, we're doing good. Okay. Eight points, I mean, I'll take it. I'm twenty and twenty-nine, but I got twenty-one assists as well. Oh. Kind of how this game goes. Wait, what? How many kills do you assists. have? What's your KD? Um, 20 and 29. Oh, okay, I thought you said 80. I was like, holy shit. Oh. Nah, I wish. Now, if, now if we're playing uh, co-op, yeah, I can drop 80 plus kills, no problem. Yeah. Nice, we got C. Triple Droidica, quadruple Droidica. Oh, they can B, though. I'm coming to C, and I'm gonna try and hold that shit down. Uh. Oh, I'm not... Yeah, really I was heading towards C and just got melted by a commando. Yo, Duel of Fates core was... A genius idea. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm glad they that uh, uh, D2.5 made that. It's. It's Is already he the one just does all your videos as well. No, I do all the videos. Oh, okay. It's such I a thought, simple premise. I I like, it. it's just genius. Cause like, it's already kind of a running meme to like, just put that music on stuff. 
Yeah, it's just like my, well, one, of, one of my favorites is the Harm's Way band guy running to. Yes, oh, I follow that yeah, one too. That was so yeah, funny. yeah, I think. Um, I don't know if they just had that idea kicking around for a while, but um, but yeah, he was like, "Should I make it?" And I was like, or I think he just put it in the chat, and we were all like, "Yes, absolutely!" Like, <laughs> yeah, well, because we were all trying to figure out, you know, help now figure out a name for it. So, because yeah, originally I think um, when someone made what is it? I think like the climax of Duel of the Fates score yeah. or something like that. Yeah, like, we I know thought that was going to be the bit they were going to do. I don't know if they even post anymore. It might have been one of those core pages that like popped up and then stopped after like a month. Yeah. <laughs> or the mm. one of those core pages that like creates the account and then never does anything like uh, Fuzz Droid Core. Yeah, that dude, that made us Rest so sad. We really wanted to like be buddy buddy with them because they're uh, the other droid that's made on the same planet as the Droidicas. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, oh, the Buzz Droids, they're from, uh, Colo I think it's Colocoid 2, if I'm remembering right. I so it's probably like a moon, it's probably not even the planet, it's probably some kind of, uh, yeah. Yavin or Endor kind of deal. Right. Damn, I, I gotta, I gotta pick up right the Droid now. Encyclopedia and brush up. <laughs> Man, the Buzz yeah, Droid well, cord. Uh, I need to figure out something with my, uh, I want to do some more videos, but, so my video editing skills are not there. Like, I just don't have any experience with it. I had one app, but it wants to charge you, like, weekly, and I'm, like, really not No, that's pay. stupid. So, yeah. I'm trying to figure something out. Might have to do that on my computer. Dude, win win Windows stuff. Movie Maker is a, <laughs> yeah, is a really? timeless classic, and it's actually, it's got, like, it's, like, base editing skills, of, or editing tools have gotten a lot better. I've actually uh, used that once or twice before, so a couple of years back I was like really thinking about starting a uh, like music page on YouTube and like just covering stuff, and I posted something on Facebook, it was the song Hail to the King by Event Sevenfold, I actually yeah. found that on drums, and so I did a cover nice. of it, And but the part of the problem was that Windows Movie Maker kept crashing every time I did something, I don't know why, but it kept crashing, but uh, I have used that before. Yeah, I um, I love coming up with video bits for the channel because uh, I, I mean I went to school for film and like video editing was one of my main focuses. Okay. So I just like love that shit and um, I became like really obsessed a while back with the, the uh, subreddit YouTube haikus, which are just kind of like we have a playlist called haikus. They're just essentially yeah. an idea where they're just like really short funny bits. Usually right. under 30 seconds. And, uh, yeah, those are just some of my favorite things to do for the page. Uh, I was just about to say something I completely forgot. Oh, uh, your video was it, uh, Roland from Limp Biscuit. Yeah. It's one of my favorite, all, like, all time favorite video, meme videos. <laughs> yeah. That is, that Maybe is, for uh... saying I love Limp Biscuit as it is, and just that, just, it just fits so perfectly. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the page of the theme song. That's why we had it pinned to the top forever. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Really cool, so. <laughs> I definitely, I actually don't have any uh, pinned things on my uh, my page. But I just haven't found, like, the right thing that just fits, that's a staple for that, uh, that page yet. Yeah, for uh, Vulture yeah. Droid Core? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's tough content to make. That's it really is. It, obviously, tough. you've seen I've, I've made it work, but yeah. I've definitely gone through some hoops to make it work. Because there's really not much video content on Vulture Droids to begin with. There's like episode 3 right. at the very beginning. And honestly, I think that might just be about it. Aside from the Clone Wars show. Um, which there is a little bit more in there, but it's still not much. You know, have you seen those uh, those videos where it's like someone just puts a bunch of deep fried memes kind of like in a slideshow and then you do a voiceover with like a really distorted like deep voice I have not seen that okay I'll have to send you something for reference but like you can make really good really good meme videos with like just pictures and voiceovers it's kind of just narrating yeah. comics basically 
I feel like I know what you're talking about. It's like a deep fried voice yeah, almost. That, that would be that would be some pretty easy like goofy content to make. Oh shit. I hate when I tap R1 twice and I put my shield up and then take it down. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, because it's got a like, recharge. Like, oh, exposed. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, dual droid could time. Here we go. We're at B. Oh, I'm over at A. Oh, shit. I spun on A. Oh, oh. I see you running. <laughs> Panic. What, what yeah, skin do you it. use for your roly boy? Oh, is it it's, the training uh, We do training if we're on Camino. Nice. Sometimes I accidentally just what leave it What the on, but... Did I just oh hear... Oh my god. Yo, the Super Battle Joy just died and I heard him go, Grrrr! I've never heard that before <laughs> in my life. This game is a little glitchy at times. It's what like, the um, fuck? I think it was, there was a glitch with Luke. For whatever reason, it did something that was just so... Oh, he started speaking German when you would do his voice lines. <laughs> out, of, out, of no, <laughs> out of nowhere, he just started speaking fluent German. It was hilarious. <laughs> That's amazing. One of the best glitches I've ever seen. Well, I was wondering, like, maybe a, a clone died next to me and yelled out, but it was a super deep voice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, there's... there's one... I feel like there's a one point in the movie where Luke insults somebody. He calls somebody something. And it's been in my head for years, and I feel I can't find this insult anywhere, so I don't know if it actually happened. At any point, to oh, see, might just be the really? Mandela effect happening, dude. I feel like it. Yeah. it it's it's something like pawn scum, or is that from something so, else? Uh, I discovered the uh, Mandela effect is from a couple years back, and ever since, it's like I feel like my whole life is just wrong. <laughs> yeah. I've watched some pretty interesting breakdowns on that, people explaining it. <laughs> oh, you miss it. He, Maul just went full Kenobi right there. <laughs> <laughs> I will never unlock that taunt. I don't have enough years left on my life. <laughs> Kill that one. I have just Old like Master, the, uh, but that's about it. The Maul skin, they have to get like 5,000 kills with a Sith. Yeah, um, I got, I got that friend. one. I literally spent the time as an officer just helping him grind for it, because he, he was going to get it, I wasn't. But it was great. Oh my god, they don't know I'm back here. I'm behind the third engine. They yeah, don't I know see you back here. there. <laughs> I was like, how long can I distract nice them? Yes, I got it! Nice. I'm, try I'm trying to take out blood. some of those guys on the bridge. I got, yeah, I got three guys at the bridge and I got the third engine. Oh, yes, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I just spawned in on you guys. Oh, we got it. Come on, pop, we got pop, it. Pop, 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 One there rocket for the go. fellas. I can't hey. even get this jet trooper. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, fuck this jet tro Oh, shit, I died. Yes! He got me. <laughs> oh, I just got two kills right before the end. Hell yeah, boys. Yo, that's two big dubs. That was sick. It, what, what can we say? The droid cores are in the house. We're fucking f sending it tonight. <laughs> nice, I got four. Hey, look at that. Fourth place, dude. Oh, and fifth. Oh, boy. Yeah. That clagger game. Yeah, gang. buddy. <laughs> Linker cores. Yeah, my heavy's literally leveling up like four times a match. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm almost halfway to uh, 69 at this rate. I'm I trying really... to get at least my heavy 269 so I can get a picture of it. So, you know, just for the, the meme. Yeah, for the meme. I hear you. Too bad. I, it would take forever to get Vulture Droid to uh, level 69. <laughs> that would be ideal, but... Just just shop it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, we made sure to screenshot when we got to 420 in the heavy and enforcer classes. <laughs> I 
Oh, I don't know if I'm getting Super Battle Droid to 69. That's enforced. Oh, I forgot. It's a lot easier on PlayStation to uh, screenshot and stuff. Oh, we're clones now. Oh, ew. Wow, that's fucked up. You guys want to back out <laughs> or you want to ride it out? Uh, let's just ride it out. Yeah, we got a couple good games in. I'm sure we'll be fine. Time to fucking bust out these beauty skins. I love all the skins, man. You wanna have mine? No, I'm doing damage control right now, bro. People are pissed about that meme. People are pissed about which meme? Like, not who we want to be pissed. Oh, oh really? Like, people are like, yo, this is sexist as fuck. I haven't really Oh, yet. really? People are pissed. I took the meme down off the page and I've updated the status to be like, very I mean, yeah, I guess so. They're right. They're Ah, uh, classic Geonosis. You know what would be uh, another good core page for music would be the... the droid... the droid march. <laughs> I saw something, I can't remember where I saw it, but uh, it was somebody, I think maybe you posted it, Zach, uh, about posting a video of droids marching, but just them, like, squeaking and stuff. Oh, like yeah. That. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that would be great. I'm surprised somebody hasn't done it sooner. I don't, I don't even know how to do that. I, You know what, actually, I could maybe... It might not actually be that hard. Just find some sound files of, like, metal creaking and stuff like that throw it over. Could be actually pretty simple. Now I'm going to look into this. Should. And like, just like a couple other things for good measure, like 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 a couple coughs in there. Even though they don't <laughs> cough, it'll be funny. Someone clearing their throat. <laughs> Ew, wait, what? Well, I'm just going to save for a hero then. Get me some Obi Trace. Well, at least we got C this time. Yep, I'm gonna plant my shiny plastic ass down here. <laughs> I got the uh, jungle camo unlock. It's like one of the first things I'm unlocked. Just I think oh, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah, it is a cool skin. What? Oh my god. Oh, barrage. Yo. Somebody oh, ran in front of my barrage and killed me. Damn. This clone trooper is getting, like, poison gassed by, I don't know, a boss or something. <laughs> and he's, like, coughing and waving his hand in the air. And it's like, bro, what is the point of that fucking helmet and the, f the air filters? You're right. Do you guys know if the, the droids have smaller hitboxes? I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I feel like actually, they definitely yeah. would. Oh, I got shot. Yeah, barrage kills are just so satisfying. Absolutely. Oh, Dude, I love the way that they pop when they blow up. Camino and Barrage, like the last objective, like you let them come back all the way to the last one, just defend from there so you can get like tons of kills. Coming down the hallway and just launching the Barrage into that hallway, you can get so many kills. I once dropped like 12 kills in a row just because that Barrage went off and it was, it was insane. <laughs> can you hear your Barrage on your TV through my... <laughs> <laughs> thump, thump. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess <laughs> my TV volume's still up. The, the potato launcher. No, that's the only thing I can hear. <laughs> that's the only thing I can hear. I can't hear anything else. That's weird. <laughs> thump. Stay 
Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I always forget to turn my TV down. I, like, the night time before I go to bed, I usually watch Netflix, and I just leave it on, and then I, next day I come on to Xbox and forget it's even on. I don't know if it's this way for you guys, but Disney Plus, I have to turn up so loud. Yeah, me too. And then, yeah, like, if you forget well. and you pop on Battlefront, it, like, you know, almost <laughs> breaks the sound bar because it's so yeah, loud. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, man. Christ. What the fuck? And I, it, I, I find that it legs. Like, it, it legs, like, pretty often. It just stalls Watching for a Rebels few seconds. Was a while back. I don't know if it's still this, but, like, I think almost every single episode of Rebels I watched, I would have the same glitch where, like, maybe a minute or so into the episode, it would just, like, refuse to buffer any further. Yeah, I had definitely had those issues. Yeah. But then, like, he'd restart it, and I'd be fine for the rest of the episode. So I was like, I don't know why this keeps happening the exact same way every time, but whatever, I guess. Netflix does that to me, and I have to, like, restart Netflix, and then it's fine for Oh, really? Yeah. I never have any issues with Netflix. Usually I don't either, but I don't... Lately I've been having some issues. I don't know why. Oh, get out of here, Commando Droid. All right, I'm gonna be Yoda. This man's gonna be Yoda. With the hood. Oh! Now oh, that's that's literally the best skin in this game. I MLG. <laughs> yeah, I that. With MLG. I love it. That oh, was like up, one of the Maul? first skins I bu I bought when it was unlocked. What's up, Maul? Let's go, dude. Nope, Maul just running away like usual. Yep. Coward! Ah, uh, classic line. Watch those rift rockets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they Never brought that old. back into this game, just for nostalgia reasons. You don't hear it much. No, you don't. I literally heard it. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's a rocket battle really. <laughs> okay, barrage kills or impact grenade kills? Barrage, but I love impact grenade kills as well. Yeah, Holy cow. I was gonna say both are really satisfying. They really are. I yes. feel like the barrage is like a little easier, I guess, or maybe I get more of those kills, so it feels yeah. a little more satisfying with the impact True. kills. Because you're just like, oh, you thought you could get close? Nope. <laughs> Century, damn it. There we go. Securing command post crash. I just heard Darth Maul scream. Yeah, same. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Anakin. <laughs> I heard that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading over to D. Looks like they could use some help. I too am chasing that D. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to back it up by myself with just Yoda over here. But looks like we got a whole squad over here now. What the f Bro! Clone trooper, you cannot- you cannot- I threw a grenade at somebody. My clone yelled, GRENADE OUT! And I got killed and the grenade never threw. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh wow! I love playing like Call of Duty and throwing your grenade when I'm trying to be stealthy, and it just lets everybody know I'm there. I'm like, really? You know what like, there's no need mean? to yell "grenade out." Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, that's like anytime oh, yeah. you're trying so, to like... flank as a hero, and they start bantering with each other. You're right. I've been uh, I've been like playing Outer Worlds recently, mm -hmm. and if you have uh, companions with you. And you like go into sneak mode. Your companions like have like voice things they say to like let you know that yeah. they're in sneak mode too. But it's just so funny because they're so loud. And I'm like, well, you Skyrim just gave us away if there's any real realism, yeah. What kind yeah, of our? You just totally gave us away. 
What kind of Outer Worlds build are you doing? I I've played through that game too. Uh, right now I'm doing like, um, like I'm pretty good at stealth and hacking. Um, I'm really good with like long guns. Oh yeah, is that your typical playing style? Uh, kind of depends, honestly. Like I usually, usually I'm not like too sneaky. Usually if I do a sneak playthrough, it's like my second playthrough. Um, but yeah, I've been focusing a little more on that, and I've also been trying to focus on being like really persuasive. Because I was like, I know this game is made by the people who made New Vegas. And <laughs> Fallout is classic. Yeah, it like, is. Yeah, so I was like, obviously Fallout is classic for like, um, at least Fallout 3 and New Vegas have like great dialogue options if you're like good at charisma. I feel like charisma yeah. is I actually couldn't get into in those uh, games. Fallout, to be honest. What? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, it just, like I've played it... Before New Vegas three, I've played them all. Multi tried to play them multiple times, and I just cannot get past like, like I don't know, maybe a half hour into the game. It just I don't know. Well, the yeah, beginning like, of the game does kind of suck because you don't have, you don't have you have shitty guns. I think it's just the cheesiness of the weapons in that game versus like Skyrim, whether I know they're actual weapons or like it's fantasy, so I know it's legit. Like I, Skyrim, I, I can put hours say. into. I I originally was What's like up, really buff? big into Fallout, and I kind of avoided Elder Scrolls because I just generally wasn't into like fantasy or fantasy games that much. Neither am I. That's a funny thing, but I actually really loved Skyrim when I first originally played it for the first time. I was like, I just I loved it. Yeah, somebody I think. Get to the LA they're like, yeah, you love Fallout, right? It's the same company, same kind of idea, and I was like, oh, maybe I should try these games out. And my friend was like, before you play Skyrim, I'm going to give you my copy of Oblivion. Play through that. And I got, like, obsessed with that for, like, four months, put, like, hundreds of hours into it. And I was like, all right, I think I'm ready for Skyrim now. Yeah, I wish I had that opportunity. Because I tried playing Oblivion back when I had COVID, and I just couldn't. Like, I don't know, the, the graphics it's, and how outdated it was, I just couldn't finish it, it. It, it. I feel like, yeah, like, at this point in time, like, Fallout 7... And New Vegas, or Fall, Fallout 7, Fallout 3, and uh, Fallout New Vegas, and um, being, I feel like they all kind of live in this world where they're really fun games, but they're like so dated now in their game engine, that like, if you don't have nostalgia for it, it's kind of hard to get into. That's why I can't actually wait for the uh, new Elder Scrolls game, like if they announce that they're making it, everybody knows they're making it because they have the teaser trailer, that's all everybody knows though, but... Yeah, it looks promising. I mean, aside from it being Bethesda and their game glitches that right. are absolutely hilarious, but or just the brokenness where I can take a fork and literally make it the most powerful weapon in the game. <laughs> ah, Todd Howard, I love you. Oh, <laughs> he's a uh, he's he's a god. But yeah, at this point, I'm like, man, can you guys at least give us some kind of update? I'm dying over here. Right. That somebody made a mod that you could actually you can finally pet the dogs in Skyrim. I was <laughs> really? Like we needed that from the start. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> the thing we've been missing all along. Yeah, really. The only downside on console for uh like Skyrim, it disables all uh, achievements, so you can't like get any achievements for the game when you. Uh, oh really? Mod. Yeah. I was bummed, kind of bummed by that, but it's understandable because literally you can use some of the uh the mods and like cheat your way through the game so like one for example is unlimited carry weight uh or gold like unlimited gold basically so yeah there was actually there was a star wars mod for skyrim i found it was really fun uh i was trying to figure out some of the lightsabers i couldn't get the the actual lightsaber to ignite but i could use it like a lightsaber it was really weird but it, and it made sounds like it was working but couldn't see the lightsaber itself. My uh, personal favorite from that is there was uh, somebody decided to take shouts or screams from like metal songs and turn it into shouts in the game and my favorite was the scream from Angel of Death by Slayer. That was really <laughs> cool. That's awesome. No, I would just yeet people off the mountain with it. So much fun. <laughs> I 
I think the moment in this game where I feel the most powerful is when I'm a clone commando and I like air push a, a hero away. That's gotta be the most powerful feeling. Yeah. Somebody get mall. Or the or the uh, the death trooper grenades. They're pretty good oh, too. Dude. That's the uh, Sonic Imploders, isn't it? Man. Nice. That, that, that's pretty close to like this, like, uh, Boba's seismic charge. Oh. Let me tell you, more sa there's nothing more satisfying than uh, the Slave 1 seismic charge going off. Honestly, instant nut. Not mine. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's the only reason people play Starfighter Assault, I'm pretty sure. Uh, when they dropped that in Mandalorian, it was just like, oh. It was just music to my ears. Yeah, it was the best fan service ever. That's oh, fan God, service done right, you know. It's not like damaging the show I, in any way. It's just I feel like the enjoyment. sequel trilogy did a lot of fan service and but it was like forced so it didn't It was not done actually well. Make it, it didn't make it fan service, but that's what they were trying to do and it just didn't work, basically. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't kill Lando, honestly. I would have been pissed if they did. I it's, love Lando. It seemed like they were, they had a they had a fucking death wish for anyone in the original trilogy. Right. Well, a Carrie Fisher excluded from that only because yeah. she passed away. But so they couldn't really do any more with her unless they did kind of like what they did with Paul Walker and brought a family member on and then like cloned their face. But it just wouldn't have looked right. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the exception. I think Harrison Ford just didn't want to do it anymore. They offered him a bit oh, yeah. of money, but totally. he didn't want to, just didn't want to do it. I mean, he was old. I'm surprised yeah. he's doing Indiana Jones. Yo, what's what's the uh, uh, the actor for Poe Dameron again? What's his name? Um, After Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. Have you have you heard his his reaction when they asked him if he wanted to do another Star Wars movie? Yeah, no, I just, he, he's he, he, like, he said, "Yeah." Maybe if I need another house. <laughs> oh yeah, I did see that. But I, I think that he he felt like equally disrespected, as did like all the side characters. Yeah, you know, I mean, he was kind of in that boat. Like, if they would have done these sequels in more movies, I think they would have all had better arcs. But because it was set into three movies and they were already long to begin with, they just couldn't do any kind of character arc with them. Why Finn was just yelling Ray half the time. Dude, Poe <laughs> Dameron was, was the best part of Episode Eight. <laughs> he was fucking good in Episode Eight. Everything about him was just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I, re I think his character in general is really good. He's just a great actor. But, um, but yeah, like, I, I think a big problem with the sequels is that they just didn't stick to the same team and give themselves, like, three years between movies and stuff. Like, well, they actually, they asked J.J. Abrams if he would do all three. He actually declined it because he wanted somebody else to have the chance to do it. And I think after eight, unfortunately, I think Rian Johnson did a great job for what he was given and being a new director. But yeah. there was so much hate for it that they kind of begged, like, J.J. Abrams to come back and finish nine. Well, Ryan Johnson didn't. He's he's been vocal about the fact that he doesn't really care about Star Wars. He doesn't. Really? I heard they. I, or I thought I read something that they wanted him to do more with Star Wars, or right? he would want to do more. Well, he would yeah, want to, but he didn't have a passion like, for it. He was really like, "Oh, it, Star Wars is a huge opportunity. I'm going to make it the way I want it to be." He didn't like care yeah. about canon or legends or anything. Yeah, I guess. Um... He's a great dire I mean, director, don't get me wrong, like, I, I agree with you. Well, he's new, too, like, so I read a post that they were talking about it, I guess he was raving to his, one of his family members about it, and they would, but he wouldn't say what it was until after it came out, or that he was, after it was done, and he said, oh, I just did the next Star Wars, like, and that's, like, his big time, what, what made him be who he is now, basically. I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, nerd? I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing more from Ryan Johnson. I don't know what else movie wise he's directed, but yeah. See, I'm like personally a huge fan of his. Yeah, I I really like him as a filmmaker a lot. 
And like, I know that a lot of people feel uh, like, like myths about a lot of things in Last Jedi, but uh, I, I for the most part like a lot of the choices made, but like, I, I understand in general people aren't like, um, super about the choices made in Last Jedi. It's definitely like, um, cause I feel like the, the Force Awakens played it real safe and just kind of copied a lot of things. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, first, well, the it's first, the first time back well, in like, And then Last years. Jedi came out, and it was kind of like the first real big and divisive like changes and choices being made. I feel like that so was the, that was the I opposite. Get, the opposite I side of the like. Wait, what were you saying? Sorry, I I totally interrupted you. Um, I was just saying you you were saying that episode seven like they played it safe. And I, I totally agree with you, but I feel like episode eight it was like too much of the opposite. I feel like he pushed the boundaries like too hard, and the Star Wars like f fans have been at each other's throats since that movie, in a way that has never happened before, you know. Yeah, but like I don't know because I mean I feel like there were like the amount of people that um, that like hated the prequels or especially hated like episode one. Like, I feel like it was just kind of the same amount of toxicity around that time, and now we're just, like, enough distance has gone by, I feel like, that uh, it's hard to remember how fucking toxic people Well, people, people didn't, I, when episode one probably. came out, like, you're right, there was a lot of, like, people were very mad. But then there was also, it was the fact that it was, like, it was following episode six, it had a brand new cast, brand new setting, brand new everything. It was, like, there was, it was a total setup movie. And, like, people didn't appreciate right. it then. So, like, the more time passes, the more people appreciate the setup. You know, and, and those characters grew into characters that, by episode three, we loved them. You know, but, like, it was the setup that nobody wanted. And I, I don't think that the sequels have that same value yet. Or, like, I don't, I don't know how time passing is going to provide that kind of value. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's the thing, too, is, like, as much as I'll uh, defend The Last Jedi, it, I, I definitely think the sequel trilogy's the weakest out of the three trilogies. Easily. Easily. Especially because I uh, have a lot of fucking problems with Rise of Skywalker. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, I, I just think, in general, there was a lot of potential. There was a lot of good stuff set up that just wasn't really... Um, it either wasn't like fully realized, or they just got scared to go in one direction, went in a different direction. Because I feel like we really were supposed to see Finn be a Jedi at some point. Yeah, that was that was a weird thing that they just did in Episode Seven, and then just never touched on again. Right. I kind of like that's why I was like, you know, I don't blame John Boyega for just being like, "Fuck you guys," if he does feel that way, because. They really did kind of sideline his character. Okay, can I ask you guys a, a question that this is this has stunned me to this day that I don't like. I'm surprised, and that is that Ray kills Kylo when he's unarmed. She she fucking stabs him. He has a moment of 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 lightheartedness, you know, a moment of of, of being a good natured person. Ray somehow does not sense this and stabs him with his own weapon. He was defenseless. Yeah. And it is never touched on again. <laughs> that, that moment is not reflected on again. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we were trying to have these moments in Rise of Skywalker where it's like the Palpatine in here is coming out, you know, kind of thing. Like yeah, but they don't even... It's... She's the protagonist, and she doesn't even become a bad person. So it's just like, right. why did that, that even happen? Properly. Yeah, exactly. And that's uh, that's one of the things that, uh, um, you know, I was saying earlier, like, I really like JJ as a visual director, but I feel like as a storyteller, he's just, like, very hit or miss. And, yeah. uh, and also, I think generally he, like, never finishes anything that he starts. Besides his like movies, like all his TV shows, I think he like by the time the show finished, he had like walked away or wasn't a writer anymore. Yeah. 
doing. Yeah, I made I made a a YouTube video about what I think would have made episode nine have it like a good ending without like changing the plot too much. And I, I feel like they did a lot to set Ray up to be a, like a villain. Like even before they had, like she was a Palpatine, like they announced it. Like there was a lot of foreshadowing to her, like tapping into dark side energy in episode seven. You know, in episode eight, she had those dark side visions. You know, it seemed like she was kind of embracing it a little bit. She always kind of leaned into anger when she fought. So I thought it would be really cool if in episode nine she just actually committed to it, because it that seemed like she, she was so desperate to like find her place. You know, and like her parents and her identity, that it seems like the moment that someone handed her, like, hey, this is your family, that she would be, like, clinging to that, you know? So I feel like it was a really good setup that just never happened. What if they did that, but also had Kylo actually flip back to being good? That would have been interesting. Exactly. Uh, That's exactly what, yeah, what I said in the video, too. What a huge twist that would be. The protagonist becomes the villain, and the villain becomes the protagonist. How sick would that at last fight be. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Yeah, so that's what I talked about really in that video. You don't see in movies either that the protagonist ends up becoming the antagonist. Of yeah. Or whatever. And like Kylo, who was trying to be evil, was constantly being pulled to the light. You know, and, and she was being pulled to the darkness. It's just like such a, a cool setup at like. Man, if they'd followed through on that, like, Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams aside, like, if they had just kind of stuck to that and kept everything else the same, I feel like it could have been great. Have you guys uh, read the, uh, or I mean at least, uh, skimmed or watched a video about um, the original script for Rise of Skywalker before it was called that? I'm trying to remember. No, I, think I didn't. It was, um, Colin Trevorrow, he was originally supposed to direct it, and he wrote a script for it, and um, it was a little while after Rise of Skywalker came out, like the, I don't know if like his script got leaked, or if just like the plot details of it got leaked, but uh, I actually really liked that script, and oh, I was yeah? like, if they, if they had made that, I feel like people wouldn't be as split in the sequel. So what, was, like a, what was a good thing about it? I, I, God, it's Don't been a while since I've watched it. Um, I remember one of the things was like, um, I really liked what they kind of did with, um, with Hux. I know, like, Hux becomes like, I think there's like a so side story where he's kind of like obsessed with, um, like collecting Jedi artifacts. Or something like that. Kind of Thrawn-esque? Like, kind of Thrawn-esque a little bit, yeah. Like, he kind of had that kind of vibe where he was, like, becoming a Thrawn kind of figure. And, like, he kind of stayed head of the First Order. Um, yeah, I'm Interesting. Some of the other yeah, they really did him dirty. Um, Dude. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, his character got it done a little dirty, I guess. I, I was still kind of okay with him being, like... A traitor because I kind of liked that he just. Oh, yeah. Battles. I think the traitor thing was good. <laughs> yeah, it was just so but, rushed. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything was kind of rushed. There was too many ideas trying to be done. And, uh, um, yeah, I've got a, I've, I'll send a video into our chat. Too much stuff in a short video about time. that script. I, I kind of wish that they had made Hawks the main villain after 8. Because it was kind of set up where he was like pissed off at Kylo for yeah. whatever. Like, it seemed like there was going to be a power really struggle it, between uh, them. And it just never yeah, happened. Exactly. Yeah, because I liked when, uh, you know, a lot of people were, like, pissed that they killed off Snoke when they did. But I was like, I'm, I'm kind of about this because I like the idea of the power vacuum. Yeah, and, like, yeah. you know, I had the idea of, like, well, what if Darth Vader had actually become in power? Or, yeah, exactly, if him and Hux had to fight over it, that would have been really interesting. But then I feel like they just kind of, like, well, why don't we just bring that back to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. They they did like I liked Snoke and I wish they'd kept him around, but I didn't mind the power vacuum like you said. I just they just did not fill it in a smart way. Right. Something's not right here. In my opinion anyway. 
Like just give it to some just give it to somebody that we know. And I think it's a good thing that it seems like they're just gonna stick to TV for a while and kind of explore those outlets. Yeah, figure their shit out for I a while. I feel like there's a lot of out of storytelling potential around the Star Wars universe instead of just focusing on a big trilogy saga. Oh, I'm a moron! Sorry, I did, did something stupid. <laughs> I, I just pushed like the whole team as Obi-Wan, and I was in over my head before I knew it. Alright, it moved up to fifth. I see you're holding down the third spot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. They cannot get this. We have to go undefeated on the stream. I know, we have to. We have to. Dude, being a hero on this stretch well, is they like. Beat the core pages? No. Some dumb bitches think they can beat the cores? <laughs> What's up, Maul? What's up? You're not yeah. shit. You're not shit. Maul's defeated. <laughs> Yo, I just saw that on my on my screen. <laughs> oh, I love killing heroes. It might be my favorite thing. <laughs> killing heroes is not heroes. What the? How much health does this guy have? Shit. What the fuck? These these guys are like, they're up on the walls and stuff as we run in. They're killing us from behind. Oh my god, we got it. Yes. Holy oh, cow! I didn't even make it to that room. <laughs> Same. Three and zero. Oh. What do you guys think? Should we do one more? I say one more. One more, and we'll call it. Sounds good. Right on. Oh man, my enforcer is 51. I may actually not be that far away from 69 as I thought. I, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in my ability to achieve 69. <laughs> you got this. Thanks, guys. Yeah, our heavy is at 452 right now. I don't know what our enforcer is at. I think it's at like 460. Yeah, I just leveled my heavy up another four levels just from that round. Yeah, I like overplay as heavier enforcers, but uh, D1 has been. Yo! It's real droid hours. Yeah, we're prestige and assault and specialist now. I think officer is the only one. This is a great officer map too. I'm horrible with officer. We're at 26 over on officer. Oh, I think I got you beat there. I'm at 73. Yeah. What's your guys' specialist? Yeah. Oh, sure. Alright, D1's gonna hop on to this last match. Right. Right. Uh, level 1. I think we're, yeah, we're at me now. You wanna change this game? Oh, fuck, I didn't get this skin. Oh, I didn't get the skin right. Guys, don't look. I didn't get the skin right on my Yikes, character. Cringe. It's not gonna look right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's been an eventful evening for me. <laughs> I've heard. Um, yeah, fucking from yelling at the police to uh, getting called out by some of our fans for being sexist. It's, uh, it's been oh, wait, what? What, what That's did I miss? <laughs> um, our last meme we posted, I don't know if you saw it, where um, it was like Star Killer, Fleet Killer, something else killer, like Jedi Killer, and then the last one, normally it's this really shitty meme, and people put a picture of Kathleen Kennedy and they say Boner Killer. But um, we were like, let's let's flip the script on them and uh, put Gina Carano there instead. You know what I mean? Yikes! And yeah, we were like, yeah, let's do that to be like that's 
she's shitty. Yeah, y'all make waves, a yeah. We wanted to be like, she's a boner killer because she's shitty, but it didn't come off that way. It just came off like we were criticizing her looks. You don't you know. like her? I fucking hate her. I, got, I mean, um, uh, like, you mean just, like, based on that that quote that she said? Or, like, do you mean, like, as um, an actor or, or what? Pretty much every way. I was pretty underwhelmed with her performance in the show. Um, I think that she was by far the worst actor on the entire show. And she basically had the entire role because of MMA clout. And her yeah. stage presence from MMA did not transfer on screen. And well, maybe she it would pretty not good. convince... She had some pretty good fights, like hand-to-hand -hand combat with Mando and stuff. I guess yeah, maybe that was her only that, good episode. Um, she did some of her, she did a lot of her own stunts, you know. I'll give her credit for that. But um, oh god damn it! I just I'm lagging hard and I just fell off the map. <laughs> um, shit. yeah, at least I can become a Droidica now. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I was pretty underwhelmed with her acting, and like some of the fights were cool, but I was never like. This is, I it, it was it was never like what I kind of expected from what I heard when she came on. They're like, yeah, they got an MMA fighter who's gonna be doing some badass shit, and I was like, awesome. And then I saw stuff, and I was kind of just like, eh. yeah. The moment they gave her a gun, it's like, well, what does she need an MMA for anymore? Yeah, and then also the thing is, whenever you can't see her face, uh, it's a stunt double. Um, really? Which is pretty... And as the show went on, it was more and more stunt double. At first, it was mostly really? her, which was cool. But as it goes on, it's more stunt double. So, um, doing your own stunts is really hard. Um, and, you know, I'm sure that she wanted to do her own stunts, but... Um, or maybe she did. I don't know her life. Yeah. If she wanted to do her own stunts, she most likely was contractually obligated to not. Um, you know what I mean? They gotta yeah, keep yeah totally. Safe, it's, so. it's Disney. They're trying to save their their action figure. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got what him. The... <laughs> I, I didn't but, mind her. Um... Like, I agree that I feel like they could have done more with her. She just ended up kind of being like a side character with a gun. But like... I don't think I they could have done... I don't think she was capable of doing more. Her acting was really, really messy. Um, I guess the edge... She didn't sometime. ever... <laughs> she didn't make any strong choices enough as an actor, which... As someone with um acting training, well, that's what like do you mean strong thing. choices? Strong choices, like um. Well, she doesn't the write. The thing about script. acting is no, yeah, if, but um. So let's give this way. Pedro Pascal, even though when he's under a helmet and stuff, um, you can always tell how he feels. You can always tell how Mando feels, and it's because he makes strong choices with his body language. I could demonstrate in real yeah. life. Much no, easier. no, no! You can tell he's very like. You can tell his. Uh, you, you, he's, he's very, very expressive with this helmet. Yeah, and he's very deliberate, even with his arms, how he faces. And the thing is that Mando is such a low key character, so I think it even speaks to how good of an actor he is that he's able to emote so much while Adrian being Pascal stoic and a wearing a helmet. Great, phenomenal actor. Yo. Yeah, and so honestly, the, the other it, thing it, is, it. I don't think I would have so much issue with Gina's acting if the entire show wasn't filled with, like, some of the best character actors in the True. world right, right now. Tough competition. Right. Um, there's just so many good actors. So it's 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 tough. Um, you know, they put her on there. I, I understand why they did, but yeah. It's, but, um, her comments about trans people was not very cool. And yeah. then her... Um, Whatchamacallit, the Holocaust stuff was really over the line for me. Yeah. I was like... Yeah, I hear you. Girl, you can think about what industry you're in. You work, like, maybe you don't work with any I think she was coming from a good people. place, like, with the Holocaust I think, comment. Yeah, but I don't think she... The thing is, she's a rich white girl, so I don't... Very, I think yeah. she just came from <laughs> Very a place where execution. she's like, well, I don't like people telling me what to do or telling me this. And instead of reflecting and being like, damn, maybe like some of the shit I'm saying can have harmful effects on yeah, people. And yeah, yeah, totally. these negative stereotypes that ultimately bring violence to these people. You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of doing that, she was just like, mm. she sounded like the person who says like, <laughs> it's literally fascism that I can't say the N word. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought about it from the rich white girl perspective. That's true. That's my other yeah. thing. I don't like rich people, as I'm sure you know. I can't stand them. I don't relate I to them. Have, I don't know many people who do. Yeah, they're just Yo, I like shit. rich white people. <laughs> <laughs> they're my favorite. Dude, my, my best friend at work is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> the only exception but, uh, I think might go to Elon Musk, and that's about it. True. <laughs> so we made a...
meme that uh, called Gina Carano a boner killer, and it was just supposed to be a switch up because everyone's seen the Kathleen Kennedy boner killer, so we were just being like, ha ah, fuck you guys, but some but... women on our page, and keep in mind, our fan base is 93% men and 7% women. Now, right. the world is, you know, like 51% women, 49% men, so, you know, I want to make sure that the women feel heard and they feel safe when they're on our page and they're not going to... They don't feel like they're going to get harassed and shit on. Cause right. That right. happened a lot in Star Wars. So I took down the picture, but I left up the post and I changed the caption, kind of addressed what's going, like what went on. But I didn't want to delete the comments that people left because people said really important shit. And uh, two, two women in particular were talking about, you know, a lot of the, you know, fuck Gina, but a lot of this criticism has, like, a lot of the shitting on her and the memes have just kind of ended up Repeating the same sexist tropes that, you know, you know, it's just, it's, it, yeah. it didn't accomplish what we wanted to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the last thing I want is for the barely any women that are already on our page. I'm always like, how can we get more women over here? Like, <laughs> I mean, but, really, it's a sausage fest when it comes to Star Wars, let's be honest. No kidding. <laughs> and, like, there's a lot of women who really do love Star Wars, but just won't talk about it and won't engage with the community because of the toxicity of it. And, like, right. I've always wanted to just stand in opposition to that with our memes and, you know, how we are as a page. And uh, part of that is acknowledging when we fuck up. Yeah. But people also said we've had some other sexist memes before, and now I'm like, I gotta go back and look, because, like, I don't know. Um, before we've criticized Gina, it's been about her being a shithead or her being a bad actor, so I gotta go back and be like, have I made fun of her for, like, how she looks or anything? Right. Make, make, a, make a female dread echo. Because I never understood the simping. I was like, I get it, she's in good shape. She's got, a, like, a nice body or whatever. But, like, I always thought she just looked like a real regular middle-aged white woman that I would see at, like, Target or something. So when dudes were yeah, like, I oh, fucking mommy. When <laughs> people were like, I was like, <laughs> But, yeah, I started the whole, this was, I saw a few other people comment this and stuff. But I started the whole smirks and delivers lines flatly. Like... <laughs> Anytime somebody bring up Gina, I would just be like, smirks and delivers lines flatly. <laughs> Bro, I'll never forget in the last episode, they had a close-up on her face when she's supposed to be all emotional, and she was just completely stoic. But not, mm -hmm. like, in an active choice to be stoic. I know exactly like, what you're talking about. Didn't know what to do, and I was like, girl, smile, frown, cry, laugh, do something. Yeah, give do us something. something. Right? Uh, I mean, that the was kind of like Ray, she too. The acting was her MMA career started going down the tank, and then she so she switched to acting. Ah. Uh, so that way she was classic. her acting career is going down the tank, so she's switching to Ben Shapiro. Whatever he did. <laughs> no. what, what did Ben Shapiro do before he started doing whatever to be a shithead? I mean, he's just kind of always been a shithead. His, his, whole, his whole shtick is that he talks fast. <laughs> Yeah, I heard one comment. I just went away with it. Like, what was that? Uh, about his wife being dry, quote unquote, dry or whatever. What they do? Yeah, dude, they, he doesn't and... know about that wet ass pussy. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. I was like, what? Dude, my favorite. Um, whenever I want to do an impression of Ben Shapiro, I just say, "Now explain to me why." Let's say, for the sake of argument, yeah. explain to me why. Well, well, that, dude, that must I, me. I love listening to that man <laughs> argue. Yeah, I can't stand his voice, and I also like I, think like, I don't take any political like... stance or anything. I don't care about any of that, but the way that he fucking picks people apart is very entertaining. I mean, it's easy to do when you're talking shit to a bunch of college students. You would have loved me when I was a bouncer. <laughs> you were a bouncer. Yeah, I was a bouncer for a while, and it's funny because I'm five seven, so I would never um, have guessed it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just had done every job, and they put me on door, and I was decent at door, and so I'd wear a big puffy jacket, so I looked bigger, but, um, I didn't really end up, my, I would mainly disarm people by being, uh, by making fun of them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> nice. That's first awesome. of all, everyone's drunk, so no one's as tough as they think they are. Oh, um, yeah, no one, yeah, the ego boost when you're drunk is... It's definitely Your there. ego ego boost, but reaction time's pretty slow. And um, yeah. at my bar that I worked at, there's this little ledge. Damn, we're getting our ass kicked. There's this little ledge that yep. um, 
went right before you went out the door. Like it was the ledge was inside. It was like an inch. And if anybody, if a drunk dude started giving me grief when I was trying to kick him out and he wanted to fight, I would just trip him over that ledge, like and act oh like my I didn't. Oh like, He just fell himself. Fucking ruthless. People ruthless. would trip over it every day on their own. So half my job was saying, "Watch your step," and people right. would still trip over it. So when I wanted to kick someone out, I would trip them over that ledge and then be like, "Oh my god, watch your step, He'll, bro! I'm just, look, look, no, bro, like, let me help you up." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like tripping someone and acting like you have no idea what's going on and helping them up. Yeah, Make you're him a good feel guy. Like he's more drunk than he actually Yo, and I is. just no scoped someone. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm I'm sucking as the droid because so I ran out of points. I had to go back in as a specialist. Do you guys want to hear my 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 really random connection to uh, Pedro Pascal? Yes. Yeah, I want to hear. So. It. Damn it. Oh, here come the fucking the police again. Uh, they're all over our neighborhood right now, man. I, I fucking can't stand them. After Zach's done talking D1, I got I got a story to tell you what happened to me today. Oh my god, I can't wait. So, Pedro <laughs> Pascal's connection. Yeah, what so, uh, a couple, like, I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. And nice. I, uh, for a couple years I worked in the gym in my city that was like attached yeah. to this hotel and it's like the fanciest hotel in our city so a lot of actors that come to my city for whatever reason for acting stay in this hotel so I've met a lot gotcha. of like big name actors and no this isn't All leading right. to me meeting Pedro so I don't want to hype this up too much um, <laughs> <laughs> I, d I did meet a, a few big names but um, anyway I ended up training this Damn, I'm uh, lagging hard. I ended up training this guy, and, and, and as we got to know each other, I found out he was a director. And then I found out that he was the assistant head director for the show Narcos. Which, yeah. okay. which, which was Pedro's, like, probably one of his first big breaks. That, yeah, yeah, that was, I mean, that's, that's what really got him noticed by, I feel like, the general population. You know what I mean? My dad yes. really likes that show, and he tells me all the time I need to watch it. I haven't yet. But I tell him and I both really it's like fantastic, man. He's in. And it's I was so telling good. him how Mandalorian has Pedro, and I really love Mandalorian. He's telling me, oh, you need to watch Narcos, because I guess he's a very prominent role in that. Uh, that's actually pretty cool, dude. I used to ask him all the time about his time, like, filming Narcos and, like, experiences on set and stuff. But, like, if I could go back in time, I would have just asked him questions about Pedro, because, like, that yeah, was right. years before Mandalorian. Nice, nice. Um, and I did not make any progress with that with that director, by the way. He was uh, he was he was filming a, a love story, a love movie, and it was it was set in a bakery, and the guy could not stop eating baked goods, and I just could <laughs> not I could not work the calories out of him. We get a workout in, he'd go crush a few macaroons and just fuck the whole thing up. Right. That sounds like me. I'm like, nice workout. Time to have French fries. <laughs> I earned it. Fucking Taco Bell when I work out. <laughs> I just started uh, working at a bar that's a grilled cheese bar, so we'll see how much weight I gain. Wait, grilled that, cheese bar? What is that? That's a thing. What? Yeah, it's called Cheesies. Um, it's, uh, okay. yeah, it's, I mean, no they more. have other food too, but it's all the sandwiches are like based on grilled cheese. They all have cheese on them. But I'm actually lactose intolerant, so I, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> hoping I like, don't really eat food there. This could go two ways. This could Bro. go two ways. Either I, you know eat healthier because I'm making better choices because I'm not eating at the bar all the time or um I just am shitting all the time because I can't stop myself from eating cheese and <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough that's a tough <laughs> you're at a tough crossroads here I'm like this guy I'm lagging I'm so hard wait, wait what was your story Volch? uh so Okay, so today I'm going, uh, so where I live versus where I work is literally a three minute drive. And so I take this back road and out of nowhere this cop, si literally sitting in the middle of the road, there's this uh, turn lane that goes into a field that originally was going to have like a, a Sam's Club or something. It just never got around to doing it, but it has this turn signal, like a turn lane. And so the cops just sitting yeah. there, state police. And I drive past and a couple months back I broke my windshield. And oh, I, so, the where my inspection stickers are because PA loves their inspections. 
the, I have it sitting right below where it would sit normally, and I just never got around to getting new stickers put on, which is like 15 bucks. So I drive past, he never sees it, so I drive to my job, which is at that point like another t a minute and a half to like where we were sitting at or where we were driving past. And I see him hit his brakes, and I realize he's taken off, so he probably saw me. Just thinking the worst of it for my anxiety. And I literally pull in, park my car, and next thing I know, I hear, I see this lights go on, and he honks his horn at, his horn at me. That oh. he's pulling me over. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? So he comes up to me, and he's like, so, uh, I don't see your inspection stickers. Uh, what's going on there? And so I literally show him, hey, it's there. My windshield's broke. And he's like, oh, okay. And then he has the audacity to give me a written warning, even though it's there. Because wow. it wasn't properly on the windshield. And what else did he do? Oh, he literally said to me, oh, maybe, you know, you can frame it, your, your warning, you can frame it or do whatever with it. I really don't care. And I'm like, man, don't you have better, I'm thinking, don't you have better things to do? Nah, that's pretty much frame their whole it. job is just extort Unreal. you for more money. Right. <laughs> if I would like, it was just, it was messed up. He had no business pulling me over, really. And then maybe show up late to a domestic violence call and shoot the dog at the house. You know? <laughs> sounds like some, that's the, that's sounds like some USA police stuff. <laughs> <laughs> show up late and shoot the dog. Friend. Holy shit. See, that's, you're, you're lucky. In Chicago, if the cops show up like 45 minutes late to your that's call, that's fuck, like, wow, dude. you guys got here quick. Right. Why is it so bad? That's horrible. Uh, because they're allowed to do whatever they want. They can't get in trouble, and they, it's like a, it's like a That's frat horrible. where they all back each other up. You know what I mean? Well, they're literally like, you, is a fraternity they have this, of police. But so. don't they answer to the government? Like, no. Police union okay, doesn't answer to enough. anyone. Is the police around you? Is it Chicago City specifically, or is it actual state police? It's Chicago. Um, the sheriff only really works on the highway, the tollways here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, and CPD is uh, the worst gang in the city. Um, they're literally just a gang. Uh, wow. They So CPD, uh, you know about the shooting that happened here recently with the 13-year-old. Um, yeah, that I, neighborhood that right happened side. in, people are like, what should the cop have done? So here's the deal. Chicago police in that neighborhood, it's called Little Village or La Valita in Spanish. Uh, they shake down the drug dealers in that neighborhood, especially recently, and then they take the drugs, and instead of putting them in evidence, they just sell them out of unmark unmarked cop cars. Yikes. To catch more, well, I would assume that's supposedly supposed to, they're gonna, uh, catch other people, but I guess that's not what they do. Nah, they don't, they, um, also they work with the, they often work with the Latin Kings. Which is uh, one of the wow, bigger that, games. Out that's there. that's literally right there. Corruption at its finest. If it was, a, let's just say, a real world, what they were supposed to do is catch the people buying it and then arrest them. But no, they want to sell it instead and get more revenue. No, and they try to sell it at a smaller price so they can literally like edge the regular drug dealers out. God right. damn! God fucking damn! I'm lagging so hard. I can't even like pop up in my Drake. Fucking hacking. Bosk has full God, regen. Bosk is full regen, and I was just running for my life, and Anakin caught me in a fucking retribution. Uh, this Anakin and Obi Wan are really good together. Yeah, Anakin. Yeah. Just oh, he's level three seventy two. Anakin. Yeah, he's okay. fucking slapping. But man, yeah, I was it's... pig squealing at the cops out the window. Oh, we, that was, we you. dude. I, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go rewatch the first like 20 minutes of the stream because that was gold. Dude, I was so pissed there, Jai. I'm just, I'm, I'm living it because it's just frustrating because there's like nothing you can do, and they just like, and they know it, and they're like, and even the ones who like are trying to be like, oh, I'm not with that. Like they still just kind of, they know exactly who in their department is on the bullshit, and they would never stand up. You know, so it's never-ending in Chicago. Growing up, I've actually always, well, say, we'll say, like, the first, like, ten years of my life, I really wanted to be a police officer. Hey, I don't know why Same. it changed, but it ended up that, uh, now I'm just, like, I'm glad I'm not a police officer, because it would just be trouble. Because, like, me, yeah, I would want to make a like, like, a good difference, but knowing everybody around me, how 
they hate cops and how corrupt the system actually is. It's just it's messed up and it's not worth it. Because I know just as one. I mean, person, the other thing is that difference. the cops aren't gonna let you make a difference. You're right. Which is the worst part of it. Damn, I was fucking horrible there. I think there, the, huh? uh, the police chiefs just kind of talk out of their ass saying, oh, we don't condone this when they really do. Or they just. And the other happen. thing is that, um, with policing in America, is that it's. it's The original policing in America was capturing runaway slaves. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah. And modern day police is all built off that. Um, so they're basically just out here. Every now and then they'll prote protect private property, but most of the time they're just collecting additional revenue from the citizens. And here's the worst part, man. My tax dollars go to all the settlements for all the people they kill unjustly. Right. Like, that's just our... T I think that shit should come out of their pensions. Because in Chicago, the, the starting the salary for a police officer is 70000 a year. That's before overtime. Really? They all get overtime. Yeah. I'm surprised they actually get that much because I don't think here in PA they don't. I don't think they get that much. But if anything, no, it should come real out of the. No, police officers make more around deal. forty grand. Yeah. Yeah, seventy thousand. Now I'm not saying that you know they don't deserve a livable wage because I think everybody does. But seventy thousand just seems like a bit much. But especially with I, I know think... they work overtime because there is a shortage of them. So they're working night times. I they're think they should get a real job. More. It's funny you like say that. Uh, tables. A friend of mine today, I was talking to her about what happened to me today, and she was saying that oh, cop, you know, being a cop isn't a real job. But I, I kind of lean on the fence because growing up, I was one that, you know, I learned to respect police, respect military, which I still respect military. But as I've gotten older, police respect has for me has gone down, just because of what I've experienced and what I've seen. Like it, you know, it's pretty messed up. So, a lot of my family are cops, and one day I was just like, damn, none of the family members I like are are You know, like, all the family members I don't like are also cops. Man, you must have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, dude, man, I don't get invited to one of them anymore. Um, my, on the other side, my one, the, there's one cop on my mom's side of the family, and he, like, straight up just, like, left Illinois and lives in Arizona now, and he won't even come talk to us anymore. Oh wow! Um, yeah, my uh, my dad's yeah. friend was a police officer for Baltimore County, well, Baltimore, Baltimore City originally, and then Baltimore County, and he ended up turning into a roid head, and then tried to solicit my mom for like sexual like stuff like that, like just being a complete ass a douchebag, really. Oh wow! Yeah, um, uh, like I'm just thinking Baltimore's of, like, finest, right? Yeah, right. My uh, so my mom and my dad split around like 2017, and it was literally right after they split. He started messaging my mom oh. about doing stuff like that. And I'm just like, what really? Being my dad's oh, so friend, gross. like you're gonna do that kind of stuff with his yeah, really shriveled shitty. up roid balls. And it's really it, it's what it comes to. He's pretty bad when it comes to that stuff. Just yeah, because he's that like should, that should really fuck up your brain, man. He's pretty, I want to say, small in comparison to others, but yeah, he's not like you know six foot four, stuff like that. Like, he's not necessarily built. That's why he did the roids to begin with, and then it just snowballed from there. Man, so. yeah, that I've, I've, I, uh, I had to kick some roid heads out of one of the bars I worked at one time, and I, <laughs> at this time I wasn't a bouncer, but I was the only like I would bartend, and I would literally be the only person in the building who was like working. So I was also a bouncer and a bar back, you know, and a server. So I did everything. And oh, I had wow. and these three roid heads, there was two bars in the place. And when I was working, obviously only one bar would be open. But these douchebags, man, they'd come over and like, whatchamacallit, uh, they went over to the other bar that wasn't open and like took the plastic off the taps and just started pouring themselves beer. Oh yeah, that's and not I cool. took the beers out of their hands, threw them in the garbage, and I was like, "Yeah, so uh, you have to go." Yeah, and they started cool. like flipping out at me, and yeah, I remember just being is, like, "Rug rage is real." I was just like, "I'm not gonna fight you, bro. They don't pay me enough to fight you." Yeah, right. Yeah, I used I've to that say that all the time when people uh, wanted to fight. At my retail jobs, like just customers wanting to fight and i'm just like why 
Especially so, I worked for wow. Advanced Auto Parts uh, last year and for like about two years straight. And literally, all that comes in is old white men. And between the sexist yeah. comments of my coworkers, the Trump supporting, um, the angriness, like it was, it was ridiculous. Man, it, old white dudes just like. The thing is, like, you know, they could be out of line, and you'll just try to be like, hey, let's let's take it down a notch. And they'll act like you just said that their mom's a bitch. You're right. And I'm they like, dude, you're facing extremely mild and extremely valid criticism right now. Just fucking take it. Be like, you know what? My bad. And then we're good. <laughs> yeah. Like, I always try to de-escalate it, and they take that as a threat. I don't know why. Dude, for real, man. Especially because I'm one do that. Like, not to toot my own horn, I'm better with customer service. Like, I always try to find a solution to make the customer happy. Maybe that's from my school you know, for nursing. But I always yeah. try to find, you know, what I can do to make it better. And if I can't do it, I will go above me to do it. But as soon as I start saying, like, oh, we can't do that, but let me go help, they start freaking out. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's I, – I always try to, you know, the first thing I learned – um, being a bouncer was that you really get the energy that you put back. So if you try to put on a tough guy persona, you're going to get the tough guy attitude from other dudes. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, bro, I also like, I'll low key act like gay as shit sometimes, just like offended <laughs> as hell, just to be like, you really want to swing on me? <laughs> really? Come on. Right. <laughs> yeah, my, I, I really told actually, one time. Uh, go ahead. Sometimes I like to, I would uh, insult people to disarm them though because if you know someone's not gonna fight but they're just like mouthing off, um, and, and you want them to like freak out so you have a real reason to kick them out, you just gotta be kind of mean. And yeah. I'm really catty in case you haven't noticed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so my favorite one time I told this dude um, I wasn't gonna fight him because I was afraid he'd get his bald on me. He would. He would what? He'd get his bald on me. Oh. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense, but if you remind, like, old white dudes that they're bald, they start foaming at the mouth. Yeah, really. <laughs> dude, one time, this dude was, I, I even said one time this guy was pissed, and I was like, bro, you're just mad at me because I have hair. 